everyone welcome back to the channel did i say that anyways welcome back to my channel welcome to another video of mine today is just gonna be like a little get ready chat with me type video i'm stuck at home for two weeks because my roommate got covid so i'm just hanging out at home I didn't know what to film, so I was like, you know what, let's just fucking get ready with me, because why not? I think I have some questions to answer while I do some makeup, but I'm not 100% sure. If not, I'll just bore you guys with everything that's been going on in my life, so. Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna start off. I already did my eyebrows. They look pretty shitty, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna chat with y'all. Ew, my hair looks freaking disgusting. I need to dye it. Okay, anyways, so yeah. My roommate got COVID like a week or two ago already, so I've just been home, you know, just hanging out, doing whatever. I literally cleaned my entire house today because I was that bored. I mean, I'm really happy to be home. I really like being home and just like hanging out and just doing whatever, but I mean, there's only so much I can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, after I clean, what do I do now? Yeah, there's not much for me to do here, but, um, Anyways, I'm kind of enjoying it, but this is like a segue into what I'm gonna say next. I recently became an Amazon influencer. If you don't know what that is, um, when you reach like a certain amount of followers, Amazon allows you to apply to become an influencer where you create like your own shop and category and like add items from Amazon that you think your followers would like my camera's about to die so on that note i'll be back in a bit okay i'm back and i know my eyebrows look like super fucking crazy right now because they're like just blacked out but i promise they're gonna look better once i do all my face so um what was i talking about i don't even remember quarantine maybe what was i fucking talking about I don't know let's just move on um anyways yeah well no i was talking about the amazon thing oh yeah, yeah yeah okay so yeah i made my own amazon shop and i like created categories of stuff that like i really like so i created like um what did i create like alternative clothing alternative shoes um i did like goth home decor a bunch of sanrio stuff that i just think that like my followers would like um so I created like a whole category and finding a bunch of different things to put in that category. Um, it's a really cool and if you guys would like to help me out, I'm going to put the link in my bio. And if you shop um, through anything through my shop, I do get revenue from it. So if you're not comfortable doing that, that's totally fine. But if you want to support me because I'm not working right now, that'd be awesome. Um, so yeah, enough of that. Let's move on to something interesting. Who slash what inspired my style? The whole gothic subculture inspired my style. Um, I've been watching It's Black Friday here on YouTube and it's something I've always been interested in, but in my teenage years, I just wanted to experiment with different styles and see what I liked best and what felt most comfortable to me. And this has been the most comfortable I've ever felt um, in clothing. Um, with that being said, being goth is not like all about clothing it's actually not really about clothing at all it's more about the music and the values and beliefs you have i've always been into like more gothic alternative subculture um more like goth kind of punk kind of subcultures i listen to a lot of pop punk music and a lot of old gothic rock music i listen to a lot of pop punk now to listen to like old gothic rock which is like Bauhaus, big electric cat christian death um, London After Midnight, The Cure, all that stuff, so, yeah, um, I don't really have, a, like, a core person that has inspired my style other than It's Black Friday. I've loved her ever since I've started watching YouTube, so, yeah, I guess that could be my answer. I don't know if that really made sense, but that's what I got for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fave show. Ooh, that's hard. I have a lot of favorite shows. Okay, I would have to say Shameless is one of my favorite shows because it's just like such a good story. Like, 
and it's relatable for a lot of people too like people actually live lives like that and have families like that so it's really good and representation and like showing struggle you know what i mean um and it's also really funny and i really like the characters so shameless is one of my fave shows i just started re-watching it again i'm trying to find a foundation that like is gonna work for my skin but like i can't so i'm just gonna use this one and then mix it um shameless is one of my fave shows what else what else what else what else rupaul's drag race of course um i've already watched all the seasons that they're not filming another one this year because of covid that's like really upsetting but um what else rupaul's drag race um i've just started american horror story i know i just started it and it came out like fucking forever ago and there's like already new seasons but i'm barely on season three which is i don't even remember the season name but i was hella confused when like i was watching season one and i got so invested into season one and then like like the next season is just like a totally different storyline i was so confused because i didn't know that's how it was so yeah um i'm on season three now i didn't really like season two asylum i know a lot of people like it but i, I didn't really get into it too much um but yeah i'm on season three and it's pretty good so far there's no complaints it's a pretty good show i'm not gonna lie i've never seen like a show where they do different storylines each season so i think that's pretty cool it keeps me interested in going back to the show so yeah i've been watching that what the fuck was that one with gordon ramsay i think i've already said it before um i look orange i'm gonna fix that okay guys chill chill out please it's gonna be fixed i'm sorry you just give me a minute what the fuck is that show called where he like Oh, Master Chef. There we go. I haven't watched it in a really long time because it got rid of like my favorite judges that were on there. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna fucking watch this anymore. But my favorite scary movie. Ooh, this is hard. I love all of the Saw movies. Um, I grew up watching all the Saw movies. Like, I remember when I was younger, I would have like birthday sleepovers, and I was like, ooh, you know what would be fucking fun is to force all my little prissy little friends to watch Saw when we're in like fourth grade. So yeah, I've been watching Saw ever since it came out. That's one of my all time favorite movies. Um, all of them are really good. I just love gore. And if you want gore, you should definitely check out the Saw movies if you haven't seen them yet. You'll definitely fucking vomit everywhere. But yeah, Saw, one of my favorite movies, all of them. I'm, I'm not gonna choose one specific one because I like all of them. But I would say the Saw series, um, all the Insidious movies. I like the Halloween directed by Rob Zombie. Um, that's a really good one. It Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 um, from 2016 and then 2019. Those are my favorite. I can watch those like every day. Even though I don't really consider them like horror movies because, I don't know, they're just like not that scary. They're more like funny and interesting than scary to me. I know you guys are expecting me to say like, ooh, Silence of the Lamb. I'm into a lot of like newer horror movies because the technology is so advanced. I'm not saying that like those old horror movies are like bad. They're still really good classics, but I'm saying like the graphics and shit on the new horror movies is just like really good. So yeah, I like a lot of new horror movies. What subculture am I? Um, I would say a mix of like goth and punk just because I have like really core values that align with punk and also goth. And I do listen to a lot of, like I said, goth music and punk music. So I would say I lean more toward goth and punk. I don't really care, honestly, what I call myself. I don't really know why people care so much about putting like a label on you. Uh, kind of weird to me i don't know kids nowadays they're real gatekeepy even though they're only like 12 years old so yeah i'd say i'm a mix between goth and punk i'm gonna do my nose contour for a second so i don't even know where i put my phone oh it's right here <laughs> you know what i've been craving recently is chipotle but my boyfriend doesn't like chipotle so then like i can't eat it for dinner without him because he doesn't like it who doesn't like Chipotle? Like, what the fuck? This shit's so good. Okay, someone asked me, did your parents accept you being alternative? I'm having a really hard time with mine. I would say um, my mom has always been supportive no matter what I decided to do. Um, when I was younger, I used to listen to a lot of like emo bands. So I listened to like Pierce the Black Veil Brides, 
um, My Chemical Romance um, when I was in like elementary school and I was really really afraid to express myself because of my dad. It was never because my mom, my mom was always super accepting and like wanted me to do whatever made me happy. But my dad was like, I want you to play sports, you know, be a straight A student. And I'm saying you like, I'm not saying that you can't be a straight A student and being like emo at the same time. Um, but I was just super afraid to like express myself and wear what I wanted around my dad. So um, he was more accepting when I started doing it because I was already like like 15 so yeah they're my parents both really are accepting now they don't really care what I do I'm an adult I can do whatever I want explain to your parents that like it's your life it's your body you can dress however you want and like believe in what you want you're your own person you don't always have to follow in your parents footsteps so yes I would just bring that up to them how old are you? What is my favorite food? I'm 18, gonna turn 19. My favorite food, probably like an Asian salad of some sort, like an Asian sesame salad, like a chopped salad. Ugh, it's so good. I can literally eat that like every day of my life. It's getting dark, so I'm just gonna try to like finish doing my makeup as fast as I can. Also, I'm really sorry I did my eye makeup off camera, but um, Pretty easy, just smudge some eyeliner. Um, but yeah, it's starting to get dark, so I wanna wrap up this video because I use natural sunlight, so yeah. Someone in my last video told me to add background music, but I can never find any uh, like non-copyrighted music that I like. So I just like leave it, and I know it probably sucks and it's awkward, but like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try to find background music for this because I do feel you guys. Like, there needs to be some fucking background music. Especially when I'm just like sitting here and talking about nothing. So I'm gonna try to find some cool, no copyright background music. I was thinking of going on Omegle, but like, Omegle really scares me, like really bad. All right guys, I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll be back to do the outro. Okay, I'm back. The lighting got significantly dark in like the span of like two seconds. So I'm just gonna put an end to this horrible, tragic, boring video. Yeah, um, really sorry for the boring video. I don't know, I just haven't done a get ready with me in a bit. So I was like, hmm, Let's do that because I'm out of video ideas. But um, anyways, please comment down any video ideas you guys have for me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just like not creative right now. But um, thank you guys. If you stuck around the whole video, you're awesome. Make sure to check out my Amazon shop. Um, it's a bunch of cool shit on there. Guaranteed you guys will like it. Instagram, TikTok, always in the description. Also on the screen here. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video, whenever that's gonna be. So, bye!